I was born in the centre of Sheffield, but moved to Parson Cross at the age of four. Went to local schools and secondary modern, and then moved on um, at the age of 16 into my first job as a, a, um, an engineer. I'm Sheffield born and bred. Um, I was born in 1947. Um, I went to school in Ecclesall, then I passed the 11 plus and went to King Edward's Grammar School. Um, I left King Edward's Grammar School and won a place at Oxford University where I studied law. At the time jobs were plentiful and I moved into the building trade um, working for um, George Wimpy and Company. I was fortunate enough to represent the university at football against Cambridge. The match was played at Wembley. Uh, quite an unforgettable experience. I then left Oxford with my degree. I went to Liverpool Law School for six months, passed my finals, and then I was articled to Philip Palmer, who was the senior partner in a well-known Sheffield firm called Russell and Creswick. And then I contacted Michael Wasco at his firm there, which was then Russell and Creswick, and was given a training contract. He impressed me with the fact that he was quite different to any other um, legal trainee that I'd met before. He had 20 or so years of business experience. He looked at problems in an entirely different way. When I uh, finished training, we decided to open a branch as a new practice in the uh, Attercliffe office of the John Manor Centre, which we did. We were then helped by the um, Sheffield Development Corporation who um, funded the improvement of the John Banner building to the benefit of us and everybody else who was in the building. That was part of the redevelopment that was going on in Sheffield after the collapse of the steel industry. And um, it helped us enormously to get both the building and ourselves promoted. The practice has grown and grown since then uh, to the large practice that it now is. Uh, David and I take a lot of pride in the fact that we got it going and kept it going. And as it, I'm 66, 67, David's 70 ish, we're now handing the practice over to um, the next generation and hopefully they'll continue to be successful with it.